So today I am making crock pot candy and I'm making mine a little bit different than most people do. Most people just make kind of a peanut cluster type candy and if you are doing that then what you are going to need is two 16 ounce containers of peanuts. Now you want one dry roasted and one lightly salted. I am actually going to be making kind of a rocky road type of thing. Um, so I'm using one container of peanuts in mine and then when I get it all put together ready to scoop it out I'm gonna add a bag of marshmallows so crock pot candy is super super easy layer it in your crock pot put it on low for two to three hours stir it all up spoon it all out so you do want to layer it kind of in order so you want your peanuts in the bottom because you do not want your chocolate to overheat and seize up or get grainy. So I have peanuts and I'm going to follow that with a cup and a half or one package of chocolate chips. And then I'm going to add one package of chocolate almond bark. and you can break it up if you want to. I usually don't. Just lay it in, everything will melt. And two packages of vanilla almond bark. If I can get the package to open. Just that easy. I'm going to take this over. I'm going to put it in my crock pot. I'm going to put it on low for, I'll check it in about two hours. It takes two to three hours. Um, once everything is melted, you'll be able to tell the one on top will be nicely melted when it's ready to start stirring it up. And when it's time to do that, I will bring you back. Okay, so the crock pot candy has been going for almost two and a half hours and it looks like everything has melted so I'm going to turn it off take the lid off of it and set it over here to the side out of the way and I'm just going to start by stirring this all together and I want to stir until I don't see any streaks now I have about four cups of marshmallows that I'm going to be adding to it once I get it all stirred up. So now I'm just going to stir in my marshmallows. I have a couple of trays that I've lined with wax paper. So I'm going to stir in my marshmallows. I'm going to push the crock pot back so that I have some room to work. So you may not be able to see the crock pot. I'm just going to fold these in real quick. And they will melt a little bit, but they do hold their shape and they kind of come back. So as long as you don't stir them too much, they won't melt all the way. All right, so I'm going to push this back so I have some space to work. Pull a tray over. And I'm just going to scoop this out and drop it by spoonfuls. They're not super pretty, but they are super delicious. I have 
before I have put these in candy molds and it's a lot of work but they are beautiful coming out of candy molds if you have a holiday mold I have um, I did Christmas trees last year and they were beautiful it molded beautifully into the mold but it was time-consuming because they're lumps and clumps I'll give that one just a little bit more and I'm gonna give this one just a little bit more these to be pretty good size because people that I'm giving them to they're some pretty big guys so tray, dump in a few more marshmallows. all set up nice and solid you can see the peanuts and the marshmallows in it I've consolidated it all down to two trays and now so I'm just gonna take some white chocolate that I have melted put into a zippy bag I'm just gonna poke a little hole in the bag because I want a very thin string of chocolate to come out and then I'm just gonna decorate these a little These are going to set up. That little bit of chocolate that I just drizzled on it will finish setting up in just a few minutes. It won't take long. And I will get these added to the cookies and candies that I am getting ready to start boxing up. My version of Crock-Pot Rocky Road. Alright, so I am making peanut butter cornflake candy. And it's really simple. I have a cup of caro syrup. I actually have a cup and a half of crunchy peanut butter left in this jar, so I'm just going to use what's left in the jar. I have a half a cup each of sugar and brown sugar, and I have about six cups cornflakes. So to get started, I am going to bring the sugar and the syrup up to a boil. And once it reaches a boil, I'm going to boil it for exactly one minute. You want to be careful not to scorch the sugar and syrup. You want to keep a pretty regular stir going. Doesn't have to be constant, but it does need to be pretty regular. I've got a clump of. There it goes. And once it all dissolves, it will come up to a boil pretty quickly. So I'm going to grab my timer because we'll be needing it. 
And because this is the biggest mixing bowl that I have and I am known for making messes, I'm going to transfer my cornflakes just to make it a little easier. And on the counter behind me, once I'm ready for it, I have a tray that is lined with wax paper. Check the rim of my jar. I don't see any foil on it. So when I start this for one minute, I'm also going to microwave my peanut butter for one minute to melt it. is starting to bubble on the sides so I'm going to start stirring it regularly to make sure that it doesn't scorch go ahead and put my peanut butter in the microwave so it's ready to go and the microwave can double as my timer Now you can do these one of two ways. You can press them into a pan and cut them into bars. I'm actually going to drop them by spoonfuls onto wax paper. Now that my syrup is boiling, I'm going to go one minute in the microwave with the peanut butter. off my microwave is done grab my peanut butter I'm gonna pour that into my syrup mixture in just one second. Now I'm just going to mix these together until it's smooth and thoroughly combined. Right, and now I'm going to pour this over my cornflakes and toss it to coat completely. And I'm just kind of folding from the bottom up. I want to make sure that everything is completely covered. is not doing the job. Alright, and now that everything is coated, 
grab my tray. Grab my spoons. And I am just going to spoon this onto this tray. So I am just going to let these sit for a couple of hours to set up and then I will store them in an airtight container. Okay, the cornflake candies are done. I put them all onto a single sheet. And what I have here is just some melted chocolate that I put into a zippy bag and I poked a little hole in it and I'm just going to string some chocolate over top of these. made these in bars before and melted chocolate and spread it over the top in just a very thin layer. They're delicious that way and then cut them into squares. But since this has been a candy making day all day, I decided to just do the whole scoop it and make it rustic with everything today. that's it. I'm going to let the chocolate swirls, drizzles, harden up and these will be ready to go into gift boxes. <laughs>